In this video, we're going to discuss how to test a pressure switch. Here we see we have a delta pressure switch. We set the meter to ohms, we can read the condition of the switch. Here we see the switch is closed. If we read on the side, we should be able to find a range for the pressure switch. Here we can see the range of this switch is between 4 and 25 bar, which means the switch can be set anywhere between 4 and 25 bar. This is the pipe connected to our hand pump. Connect here. We see that the pump has a range of 20 bar, which is enough to allow us to set the switch. This is to increase the pressure. This is a fine adjust and this is a pressure relief. We can adjust the pressure switch using this screw which adjusts the tension on the spring. Turning it this way increases the pressure as shown by the arrow. Now it's time to check where the switch is set. So by watching the meter and the pump at the same time, we can check at what pressure the switch changes state. As you can see, I'm now pumping the pressure 2 bar. And we can see the switch is still closed. When we begin to see the state of the switch fluctuating, it becomes apparent that we are getting close to the point at which the switch activates. Nine bar. We can see the value of the resistance across the switch starting to change. Eleven bar. Twelve bar, and we can see the switch has went open circuit. So this switch is activating at twelve bar. By changing how the switch is wired, we can then start or stop machinery at twelve bar, depending on if it's wired normally open or normally closed. The switch will have two set points. It will have one set point activated when the pressure is rising, which we have just seen at twelve point. 12 bar, and then when we decrease the pressure, there will be another point, as we see here, as the switch closes again at around about 8 bar.